What's up, Robo Nation? This is Bob. Uh, I'm at SHOT Show 2017 at the ASG booth, and I'm gonna take you through some of our new products uh, and release dates and estimated pricing for uh, some of our new stuff. So you see here, this is our Evo Inferno. Uh, this is something that we announced last year. Uh, it was shown in a very early stage prototype, and uh, we never had a price date or a release date on it because it was uh, kind of like a project in development. Well, this year, after one year, we're finally ready to uh, give you more information. Uh, the Evo Inferno's gonna be out in March of this year, uh, pending any unforeseen delays, but March, we're aiming for March, with a price in the US of $530, $530 map. So we'll be available in Canada too for Robo's Canadian, uh, Canadian uh, viewers. And what makes this thing so great is that it has a consistency of Inferno's Wolverine, or Wolverine's Inferno Gen 2 engine that has a lot of improvements when it comes to consistency. Uh, it's paired with a custom chipset that lets it get the same uh, three round burst function, actually a programmable burst function, not just three round, as well as empty magazine detection that you know from the AEG Evo. Um, the reason why it took a year from development, uh, for development from the prototype stage is that actually HPA systems, even when they're drop-in, are very fickle when it comes to pairing it with a barrel and a hop-up. So what we had to do was design a completely new hop-up bucking that's meant for HPA setups. And with this new setup, uh, this HPA EVO is actually more accurate and has uh, even better range than the AEG EVO. We're very confident that this is gonna be the best HPA gun out of the boxes you'll ever shoot. And also, that, um, that bucking is gonna be changing the, uh, the HPA game. We're gonna be releasing that as a separate item sometime down the line once we get EVO production um, underway. So when you buy this uh, in March, when it comes out, you're gonna see it uh, you know, with a standard mag. This is a high cap mag, so you'll have a standard 75 round mag, and then uh, it won't have the regulator. So you'll get the gun itself, you need to provide your own uh, regulator and airline and tank, but um, otherwise it's all ready to go, and we're confident that you're gonna love it. So we're at our next station in our ASG booth, and uh, the Evo family is getting bigger, both literatively and uh, figuratively. Uh, what we have, did I say literally? Literally and figuratively, there we go. Uh, what we have here is the Evo Carbine family. We had a lot of requests since last year when CZ announced the uh, Evo Carbines. Oh, when are you gonna make it, ASU? When are you gonna... And I've been playing dumb for the longest time, uh, saying I don't know, but we had an in, in development. Um, and we're ready, finally ready to announce it. And this is actually very, very, very close. Um, like with the Inferno Evo, uh, this is gonna be out in March. Both of these are gonna be $400 retail. Um, as you can see, there's two different versions. The one above is the uh, Evo Carbine. It's an A1 model and it has a standard barrel with an Evo exclusive uh, muzzle brake slash comp. Uh, the bottom one is the EVO BET, and BET doesn't stand for Black Entertainment Television, it stands for Barrel Extension Tube, so a mock suppressor, uh, and um, it's going to be an integral length that runs all the way down to about here. Both of these guns will have a 407 uh, millimeter inner barrel that runs the entire length, and they're gonna, you know, they're gonna be available, like I said, in March for about $400 uh, with the same internals that you love from the Evo, now just in a bigger package for everyone who wants to run it outdoors or maybe with bigger arms. For real gun enthusiasts, we're expanding our Dan Wesson 715 line. They're actually getting smaller. Uh, a case of the shrinkage, I guess, stage fright. Um, so two years ago, in 2015, we released the Dan Wesson 715 in both uh, high velocity and field legal versions. Um, at the time, they were the first CO2 powered full metal field legal revolvers with adjustable hop up. And two years later, they still are. No other revolver checks off that package, uh, checks off all four boxes in a complete package. So we've had customers requesting different lengths, just like how the real one has different lengths. So we're introducing two more models. The one on the left here is a Dan Weston 715 two and a half inch. This is, in, as you can see, in a silver finish with a little short barrel, nice little compact, you know, like a, almost like a last ditch gun. Uh, it shoots at 330 feet per second, so it's gonna be great for indoors and outdoors. And it's gonna be available in about a month or so for $115 retail. Over here on the right, 
we have our four inch model. This one is uh, more of a kind of like a standard size, maybe you can call it a compact, if that's a subcompact. Uh, four inch model with an integral accessory rail for your lasers, flashlights, or you know, grenade launchers if you're crazy enough, one of those little tiny launchers. Same thing, adjustable hop up, uh, comfy grip, CO2 powered, full metal. And this one's gonna shoot at about 400, so it's gonna be great for outdoor fields. Uh, and this price is going to be uh, $125. So we joke that, you know, if every time you want to gain two inches, you have to pay $10 more because the original ones were $135. And kind of a secondary item that we're going to be releasing, not immediately, but down the line, is we're going to be, ha we'll have moon clips that'll clip uh, six shells together. So that way you can reload them and unload them quicker, which makes it more, a more practical option when you're using these because we know that's one of the biggest complaints is it takes too long to reload and unload. Um, and then the four inch model is actually available right now. We're shipping these out to ASG retailers during the show, um, announced and shipped. So, you know, you can't complain this time that we're waiting too long between announcement and actual availability. Uh, so you can get these from your favorite ASG authorized retailers, I would say next week, probably at the earliest.